the star has been ticking along, but we are never going to give you up for the last one. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, Adam, along en with us. Enjoy, because here it is, the grand final of the Summoner's War World Arena Championship 2024. Uh, the Europe Cup starting versus Nep. It's a best of five. The winner will be victorious. Both go to Tokyo, but to have that accolade, after three years of Pink Roy back to back to back, it is time for a new champion. Who will it be? I know two champions ready to cast the action here. It's Say and it's Sam. Let's rise up. One of these fellow summoners will be there as we've got Laura and Ragdoll pre banned and Hair Gang already out on the field, Say. Reagan banging on the field also does mean that the Nephis is following very fast. Very fast lockings from StarTech as well. Nef is playing more of a comfortable style with that Chandra and Sakar. So let's see if he pairs it up. In this case, Juno is looking very strong. Yeah, is it early? Let's see. Obviously, Static must be expecting some sort of sustain through that. Well, Same is a good answer as well. Well, Same is a good answer, but Same is not too great into heal blocks. And something that Nefties has a lot is heal blocks. Right now, we've got Miles coming out there as well. So it can be some more damage coming out from the side of Nef. How does Static look to respond? Do you commit? Well, he could commit. Like, normally he likes to use Marsha plus one in this position. He has been using, like, an Athna before. The Marsha on ladder, that's what he's mostly doing. But he's really thinking about, like, okay, I also have to deal with the Miles. And the Miles might be some trouble for that Marsha. Let's find out full amount of time. We're going to go Bella and Etna coming out right now. We saw that he's had wins with those units before. Yeah, definitely had uh, wins with those units before. But this Bella is pretty much on the tanky side and therefore a little bit more focused on dots. However, the Juno or the uh, Semi in this case, is going to make work of those dots for actually healing. So let's see how that works out. Important they got that pre-ban of the Ragdoll as well. They're using monsters that are going to be critting a lot. How does Neff look to respond now? Raccoonie coming out as the healer. Very interesting Raccoonie over there. I think the personally a Juno would have maybe done a little bit more in the sense of damage because now the only damage source is Miles, which could be banned out. And if it is banned out, how are you going to be able to deal with it and pushing it back all the time? Who do you have to ban on Static side, they say? Well, you could go for the Bella, but the Athena is also not looking too bad to ban. Let's find out. It's going to be some contest coming through right now and find out the full bans that are going to be happening. All the way through, Neftis and Miles. Well, we have the Miles being gone, so that's a lot less damage on the side of Nef. However, there's a lot of sustain on the side of Nef as well, whereas the Chandra skill one can still do a decent amount of damage. So I'm curious to see if that Chandra can maybe take out all of those units. Speed lead on the side of Chandra, crit rate on the side of Etna. We're going into our finals match. It is Nef versus Static. Who will be taking it home? Etna going first. Can look to second skill, or do you already go for the stun there? You can go for a second skill in this case, but tries to get a stun, Ooh. does not actually get the stun, and this cigar is being very fast. Big question right now, who do you reset? Does go for the Ooh. Bella, does not mention to land on that Bella. All resisted right there for both sides, actually, and Rakuni can look to push up again if needed. Can push up again, but we do actually have a rotation where we have a Chandra skill one coming in, also not activating anything, so not too much happening on that Bella at this position. You can see how tanky that Bella is as well, right? Taking some hits right now. Can you look to get some strips and stuns going through? Does oh. get a good amount of strips and a good amount of stuns. Now the Bella, it is potential to do a good amount of damage. Does also destroy HP. Did not land any dots which Simi could have uh, picked up from. Do you just cycle now, go through some more immunity, get everybody another turn. Etna's going to be coming in very soon as well. Maybe land a defense break as well. Ooh, could go for the defense break off here. That also provides Etna with a lot more damage, Bella with a lot more damage. And the same man, the Raccoonie might actually not do too much here because there's a lot of damage coming in. Yeah, and getting that. Oh, it's going to be enough, I guess, through the Bella. Yeah, this is definitely going to be enough five shots. Even with just additional damage artifacts, you will definitely take out that unit. Yeah, and right now, the dots there are on the Chandra right now. Semi is likely to be taking a turn. He has been taking turn. It's just full healing everyone. But if we go through a cycle of that again, armor breaks. Everything is on very low attack bar right now. So it's not going to be taking any turn, any healing coming in from that same A. And we can kind of do the same thing with multiple units. Did not get the armor break, however, this time. Exactly. Setting up that armor break for the Bella to come in and do more damage right now. You can even look to try and stun upon that Chandra right now. Get its health low enough that a Bella can take it out. Yeah, and we're also looking at a lot of pushbacks. And even though that this Bella is very tanky, it's working through those additional damage artifacts. Definitely is. You can look to maybe push back now. Keep going on to that Raccoonie. But there's just no damage as soon as Chandra's even gone as well, right? No, like the Chandra Sigar had to do the damage, but they didn't have that much damage, whereas they're still healing on the side with that Valagil just 
getting that punishment in every other turn, which oh. is just a slight bit of healing, but that's more than enough to get Dybala back to full HP nearly. Exactly. Get the defense breaks, cycling through against skill one. Are you even going to go on the Rakuni to try? I think that Neff is really not looking at the game right now and actually looking around like, okay, what could I have done different in that draft? Really analyzing where did it go wrong? What could I have done different in the next match? This match, not winnable anymore, but the next match, how can you win that one? Exactly, because Etna is going to come in with that skill three, taking out the Chandra, Seimei versus the world, and Neff concedes a Static takes that first point in the final, say, he is laser focused still. Uh, absolutely, and that is the right way to play. So definitely curious to see. This time around, we're going to have different pre-events. is going to be in the match, and that's definitely one of those units that Neff likes to use all the time. Definitely is. I mean, it's going to be interesting now. Startic is literally two sets away from being our Europe Cup champion. The first new one in over three years right now. But Neff also wants to claim that spot right. And here we go. Last round pre bans. Laura and Ragdoll, they'll be back out on the field, say. So we probably won't be seeing as much crit going out if you were going to face a Ragdoll. Yeah, definitely. But I would say in the side of uh, Neff, it's going to be probably banning that Neftis. The side of Startic, there's a lot of options that you could ban for. You could go for that Secret. There's a lot of more things that Neff can play around with. You could maybe even be pre banning that Cigar. Let's find out. They've taken a full amount of time. Well, I'm pretty sure it's Startic making the choice, and it is. It's going to be the Neftis, and it is going to be the Secret. Neff respecting that ban there as well right now. That first pick right now, are you going to be doing the steals? Yeah, that is going to be the big question, because you could go for a Heigang steal. You know Startic will always pick it up no matter what. So it could be one of those units you go for a steal. But then again, that Cigar is also such a strong unit to actually give away to your opponent. Exactly. We're going to see a Heigang. Laura, Heigang, Velajul, the Holy Trinity are out on the field in separate drafts. Well, we're missing the Chandra, unless you include uh, the Gang as a Holy Trinity part as well. But we do see him often enough where he cost, uh, does kind of fit in. But we have that Ragdoll and... Hey. Yeah, yeah, we, we got him, we got him, we got him. <laughs> exactly, we got him out there right now. Ragdoll coming through. Ciara, we saw it was despair in a previous match. Maybe it's the same, maybe he also re-roomed. Yeah, it would be interesting to see as well. In this case, there's a lot of single target damage on the side of Startex. So let's see if Neff can actually utilize that. Interesting, a few units Ooh. that we haven't seen today was exactly the one unit I wanted to name right now, which has been just good in this one match over here. A Sonya, it's definitely very good to be killing out a Sierra or a Bella. And also more speed with a Dasher. Do you have the cojones to build a Sonya trap on the SWC stage there? There are a lot of Sonya traps out there these days, but to be honest, I think that Sierra, it didn't show too much HP, so it might be on defense. It also didn't do too much damage, so it might be on defense. So it's actually, thinking about like previous matches where I've seen that Sierra, I was like, okay, that's actually taking quite a lot of damage, but it could be on defense exactly for that Sonya. So let's see how that works out. Ooh, Vivichel coming out there as well, say. Vivichel, that's definitely one of those units that we have seen Ismo struggle against with uh, or no, wait, he struggled against with Rosit. That was definitely one of those units that he did not want to play against, so I do think he would ban it out again. Let's find out then. You've got that Sonya out on the field. The Ciara, is it going to be staying there? Is it going to be a Sonya trap? Is it going to even be a despair? We have no idea right now, say. Well, it was definitely not a Sonya trap, otherwise it would still be on the field. Exactly, Sonya and Bella being taken out. So speed leads for both of our guys. It's our finals at the SWC 2024 Europe Cup between Neff and Startic, who is 1-0 up at the moment, say. Once again, Heigang plus four will. That's absolutely how you would like to draft those uh, plays over there. But then the big question, where do you place the reset? Because you want to put it on the FIFA Chow, you want to put it on the Sierra, and you want to put it on the Valajou, but you missed it completely. And now we have Switch of Destiny once again. Attack bar is very high, HP very low. Exactly, and you need to try and make use of it now Skill two, you're going for strips as well, but you might crit. You might crit, does not get the crit on that first skill. This will definitely take it out if he goes for skill two, but you have a lot less protection if you would do so. Does take it out. Does take it out. Did have the skill three as well from Velodrill available, but decided not to use it right now. Going for those slows to appear. This ragdoll, how much damage can we start plowing in? Ooh, 
Not enough damage coming in. Also, no dispersants. That's actually a lot of damage once again coming from that Asher, but it's not enough. And we Ooh. do have a bomb once again missing. If it is still in despair, he goes for that skill three to try to get dispersant. Does get a dispersant on that ragdoll right there. Can look to use to the defend as well now, right uh, from the Chandra. Maybe give a hug out somewhere, but Ciara getting that stun. Ooh, getting the stun back at it. We still have. Ooh, we actually take out a lot of the damage potential from Startek right there. Sure, we have seen FIFA just do a decent amount of damage, but with slows, it is a little bit less damage because it's speed scanning. However, that FIFA Chell still has the Sanctuary coming up, cleansing out all of those debuffs. Look at that attack bar going up right now from the cleanse of Vela Jewel. He can even do a, just a skill one damage. It was Rosie with the crazy damage, right? There was a lot of damage coming from that one, but that was, however, on an armor break. So with the armor break, you deal a lot more damage, but he's coming back into that third skill, and that is the deadly one, because the third skill at the right rotation is going to take out a unit, as happened to that cigar earlier. Definitely, that's why you can see Neff is trying to focus all of the damage, and those additional turns are definitely going to be helping him. And that Ragdoll was just so well Ooh. ruined, but that Ashia is taking a stun, plus there is a bunch of glancing, so there's less likely to be critted over there. We can look to heal a little bit. Can you get the defense break? Resisted on that one. Does not get the defense break. Once again, we go for that defense, that hug, as we so like to call it. Little bit of push bar up. Can we still crit? Did not crit. Glancing hits. We've got that skill three available. Can look to do some more damage. Not quite enough, and you can heal. You can heal, but the third skill, that is the main important one. That is the dangerous one. If he can take out the unit, he still has a round of rotation before the FIFA Chell comes back. Yeah, you're looking to push back, get back on that. Chandra didn't quite manage to do it here. An additional turn could at least get some healing up for him. Does get some healing in, but the big question is, does that Ragdoll move in front of... Oh, it yes. still moves in front. You need this crit, you need this dot. Does Ooh. get the crit, does get the dot. Both of them that he needed. The Neff is like, yes, those were exactly the two things that he needed through that glancing. Did actually manage to land it, taking out the FIFA gel, and now he's in dry seat. However, Valajul still has something to say about Ooh, it. Oh, big damage though. And to be honest, he's the only one with sustain on his side. He does have sustain on his side, but you are going to get in this position. And it's called Torrent, but there's also something called <laughs> Despair Stunt and Violent Prox taking that out. Sanctuary removing that. But the thing is, this Ragdoll has Torrent. Any given moment that you bring the Ragdoll to too low HP, he's going to Torrent you for ignore defense damage. And that's so much damage coming in. Oh, and you can see they're cleansed, obviously, from that stun. You need to get some healing through. Going for it on the Ragdoll now. Yeah, you have to go for that Ragdoll. You have to try to kill it in some kind of like proc rotation. That is pretty much Ooh. the only way, but Ragdoll decides to proc away that defense break himself. Yeah, and even now you're getting, it's getting close for the Velodrome. You get some of that pushing back. Oh, you have to get the pushback, you have to get the stun. Does not get the pushback, does not get the stun. We have a defense, but that skill one would definitely take it out. Does he go for the skill three here? I think a skill one would have guaranteed kills. Skill three, maybe not. Still kills it over there. And then we have Ragdoll definitely taking over this match. Neff bringing it back with his Ragdoll gameplay against Startic there. You could see how important it was for Startic, the actual Ciara. And the moment it went down, he just had no more damage left until that cycle from a Vivicho came around. But it was too long. Yeah, that's the thing, like the cooldown on the Vivid Shell is pretty long. If you would pair it with like a Twin Angel or something like that, that you can reset the cooldowns, it definitely helps out a lot. However, there's just a lot of things going on in those drafts with the Vivid Shell always being so dangerous. Yeah, exactly right now. Well, let's find out exactly how Startic can look to keep on responding to this one now, say, because it's all to play for. It's one apiece right now. We want a best of five. Let's find out pre-bans. Yeah, it's hard to say. I definitely would go back to that Ragdoll. That Ragdoll is just imminently a thing if Neff has a Ragdoll, he just plays better. That's his most comfortable unit of all of his units that he has. On the other side, probably like the Neftis and the Laura, that's what we're going to see as pre-bands rotating around. Last time it was Neftis, this time it's Laura. Yeah, Laura coming out along with that Ragdoll right now. Static has that first pick, likely to go back to the pocket picks. The Hagan coming out. Let's see if Neff is also going to keep responding with a cigar. Yeah, I definitely do expect the Hay Gang. So far, I think Startek, every time he had the chance to first pick Hay Gang, he did do it. However, this time we are going to switch it around. And the reactions of both players are pretty much also saying that, like, okay, you're not going to play Hay Gang. Is he therefore going to go for a Hay Gang steal? No, goes for the play stun that he actually did use against Ismo in that first round previously. Yeah, and we've seen it. Is he changing things up? We saw Zibala being used, I think, as well. Oh, we're going for a weirdy speedy thing now. Oh. Oh, oh, the crowd lost this one, the crowd lost this one. I don't think you're going to lock it in. You don't have enough speed contesting right now against that Athna to actually do lock it in. Might be a Sibala, but Sibala into an Athna is always dangerous because the Athna is far higher on the base speed. Mm -hmm. And you have to trust your Swift sets. And can you trust them against someone like Static, who we know has been lightning fast, maybe bringing in another 33% speed lead could help? 
And that is Silver, the Dark Hacker, a very unique unit, but that is exactly 33 speed lead right there. Yeah, exactly. It's the first time I think he might... Oh, maybe he might be appearing here, I'm not sure. I know that Mart has one, that's why I've seen it before. Yeah, we don't see it all too much from all of the SWC players. I do only know StarTech that has it. Oh. Plus, once again, Ginger Brave, so we're definitely heavy speed contesting over here. Yeah, I've been seeing that Zabala on the field. He was like, yep, Ginger Brave's coming to cook. Oh, well, maybe bake, actually. He's baking. Yeah, kind of. But then the big question is, do you uh, double it down on speed contesting on that fifth slot, or are you actually maybe going for like a fire monkey to bruiser it out and ban out the nafties? Yeah, you love your monkey fireworks. Let's find out if he does decide to do that right now instead of Verd. Still a fire unit, and that's definitely working against those kind of units. You do have to ban out that nafties, but in the process also, your Verd might be banned out. Yeah, and if that Verd is banned out, you're not going to be getting attacked by anytime soon. And can Gingerbrave and Etna get off their stuns and insert in the cool times as we're going into it? 33% speed leads for both of them. It's our SWC 2024 Europe Cup Finals, set number three. One apiece between Static and Neff. They're live here in Berlin. Gingerbrave, can you do your Gingerbrave things? Gingerbrave, and also the Athena's moving right after, so both of those units being very fast. Oh. Resist on the first. You can still go for a skill 2 into skill 3 because the 120% attack bar is not gained by the enemy yet. However, you can only strip and potentially stun one of those units on the Robo. Mostly does work. Going for the Robo, knowing that there's no strips coming, so allowing any turns from the other side of Neff won't actually affect that much, right? Yeah, it's definitely looking at the Robo Ooh. for an additional turn. That's exactly what he needed, and that's exactly the reaction that you see over there. We do see a skill 3 coming in. There's actually two immunity units on the side of Startic because the Silver, the Light Hacker, also does have immunity. So he does go for the bomb on that Velichu, does Ooh. manage to land the bomb on that Velichu. Do he explode? It does explode, and that is a lot of damage. The slight bit of chip damage might take it out on the dot, and I would definitely go for it. Oh, we didn't confirm it yet, but the Robo coming in, getting those extra additional damage over time. And Robo, the resistance was huge there. The, yeah, the Robo just did so much work on that additional turn into stripping the whole team, into pushing it back, giving the Sierra and the Oliver a uh, chance to take over this match. Yeah, and right now he's cruising through with it as Oliver is going to be able to keep in control there right now. You could see the reactions of both of the players. Neff needed that, got it. Static obviously now having to consider exactly how he's going to change things up because the next set could be the winning set for Neff because Ciara is cleaning up right now with that Robo. Plus the next set is going to be a ragdoll open set again for Neff. So those are his more comfortable plays. So winning this one is really a one-up on that one. Both of them taking a nice heavy breath actually there. Obviously it's really important here getting that first place and being that Europe Cup champion will allow you a buy in that first round in the world finals one less match to play when you get over to tokyo means you can focus a little bit more on those challenges that you're going to be up against right yeah absolutely so let's see what they bring because this is definitely going to be an open ragdoll and it's definitely going to be a ragdoll pick if uh Startic really drafts his way around like okay what are the good ragdoll snipe kind of units we haven't seen too many federica sonia's like those kind of units to try to snipe out a ragdoll comp However, Neff doesn't really play the Recto comp that is susceptible to those because he has that finesse and other units. Exactly, and right now it's the mind games coming into play. I think, are we going to see Neff disband out? Are we going to see Sigrid? Yep, both of them being banned out again. I'm not sure if even Neff had it ruined up for this match, but just in case, Sadatik is taking it out. Cigar? Yeah. Yeah, I do think we go back to Cigar, but the secret is really one of those things, like you use it in ladder, but maybe it's not even ruined that much. He hasn't been using it all too much, except for like, I think one match against Roset. Mm -hmm. So the consistent pre-ban on that is maybe a little bit overdone, but that's always like the hindsight drafting, like afterwards, if it lost, it's not great. If it did win, it was great. Exactly. Right? That's how you define a meta as well. Did it win? Yeah, it did. Okay, we're using that again. Yeah, <laughs> simple as that. On the other side, Chandra, Valadjul, maybe once again. Yes, we do, but we don't see a Hay Gang on the side of Startic yet, so he's kind of switching around, not going for Hay Gang that early, but we definitely do see that Ragdoll being shiny over there on the left side. Yeah, for sure, it's so dangerous. Obviously, it's going to limit Startic from potentially picking up the Etna coming up later on, which he's been kind of using a lot, the, those Twin Angels as well, setting up some defense breaks. It's going to be crucial to push up the attack bar as well of those units to maybe control Startic a little bit more. Yeah, it's definitely difficult for Startek right now because he does really like his Athna, but the worst thing for an Athna player to play into is Ragdoll. And that is exactly on the opposite side of the field. Oliver, good pick over there, but then do you go for some more Bruiser style? Does go back to the Hay Gang. 
I'm struggling to see where his damage is coming out right now, and I see damage on the side of Neff coming out. Yeah, actually very well called out on that one, because the damage is just the Chandra and a little bit of the Velagels. Sure, they can do still a little bit of damage, but it's not that much, especially not into a Ragdoll next to a Fire Monkey. Exactly, and how is this last pick you ban anyway? Yeah, this is the last pick you ban anyway. No, like, pretty much no matter what you pick right now, it's most likely going to get banned. Unless it's worse than what's already on the field. But with these players, that is probably not the case. Yeah, for sure. I mean, why would you pick worse? <laughs> You've got, you're going to have to put, throw out your best things. And it, obviously, if Neff wins this, he becomes our Europe Cup champion. Miles, banned? Yeah, Miles is banned. I was thinking of something along Waterside, Chow, Miles, those are the young... You, you were thinking company. Chow? I was thinking Chow, but we haven't seen a single Chow today, and I'm a happy man for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> None of the fans are happy that are watching online with you, say, but let's find out who the bands are going to be. On the side of Neff, maybe? Uh, on the side of Neff, it's hard to say. Probably that Fire Monkey, but then the Ragdoll Juno is also there. There's just so many difficult things to deal with on the Neff side, so I really do like Neff's draft over here. Yeah, he's drafted well. A Ragdoll being taken out and the Miles being taken out. We know that if that Monkey keeps on going, he's going to do some fireworks for old Say here. Speed leads for both of them as we're going in to our SWC 2024 Europe Cup Finals between Neff and Startic. If Neff wins, He's going to Tokyo anyway, but he'll be going there as a first place champion, say. Yeah, we have that uh, reset not going in, or that uh, strip not going in, because you want to do the strip on that cigar and a strip on that Chandra. Why do you want to do it on the Chandra? Because that defense, that's the only thing from that's preventing the monkey from killing anything anytime soon. Exactly, and it's the water unit that could potentially maybe damage a little bit more over the eventuality of the match, some more damage, right? Yeah, absolutely, and now the two fire units can easily just tumble down into either the Velajo or the Oliver. I think it will go for the Oliver first, but that's also the thing on the opposite side. You have to try to take out that fire monkey. Exactly. You can look to reset as well right now. There's no point really resetting the Juno, because if you strip anyway, you're getting attack bar. Yeah, absolutely. I would have personally probably tried to get a reset on that fire monkey. It is less likely to land, but if you do land it, it's going to be the fire monkey keeping that arm break for way longer. Exactly. Kai, okay. you're just going to keep piling damage into it right now. Yeah, so a bit damage coming in, but the moment he just gets his armor break gone, it's going to take quite a bit of time to actually get uh, him offline. Yep, exactly. How much skill one damage are we seeing here? Say so you always love it. 1.4Ks. 1.4K is not that much, but Velagels in general case are minus fire, as is the Oliver most likely. So that is definitely going in there. It's all eyes on this Fire Monkey. How long can you stay alive and how much can you do? How much can you do? Twin Angels are going to be following up very soon. Oh, the additional turnover there. That is going to be a lot of damage, 9.2k, that is doing a lot of damage. However, we could see an armor break on that Velajul at this position right away as well. We do oh. see an armor break, skill 2 coming up through that reset, doing a lot of damage, 16k, oh. nearly taking it out. But on the other side, also nearly taken out as well. But this Juno can easily take out that first unit. But we see a one-to-one -one trade pretty soon, I think. Yeah, and Monkey needs to cycle through here. If he cycles, it could be game over. Oh, he gets the cycle. He, he both resisted, but he still cycled, and that's exactly what you needed. Even all of those skills missing do not matter as long as that little bit of HP is coming back into that Monkey. Exactly. It's an uphill battle right now for starting. Maybe Oliver has something to say, but in all honesty, you need to kill this Monkey. Yeah, you have to kill this monkey, and the only thing that can properly do it is that Chandra. But after you kill the monkey, it's still a Juno, and these guys have great Junos. These are so hard to deal with. Getting a stun, but still there's no cooldowns on that Chandra. Oh, not quite enough now. Does get another additional turn as well. And it's the monkey once again, creating on water, landing that armor break, taking victories. And that's why we say we love Mayo Wang. And that's just an insane amount of damage. It's just doing so much work. Once again, credit. No, no, no credit in this case. But monkey business is all you love, sir. As well as all of you there. We are guaranteed anyway a new champion, and it's looking very much like a certain German hugger is going to be that person in there. I want more crits. I want more crits. Oh. Give me the armor break. Oh, and we have the victory for Nev. Yeah. Win.